What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're going to be going through my WWE Custom Elite Fantasy Attire Collection. So if you guys follow me here on the channel, you will know that I love to do fantasy attires for my figures. I don't know why, but uh, since I have the pick fed, you know, MDT Live and Vindication, I like my superstars to rock attires that they don't wear in real life. I like them to be able to, you know what I'm saying, I like to give them my own swagger and paint them up and do my own thing when it comes to their attires. So I have a few here. I, I figured I got all of them. I am not sure completely. I feel like I'm missing a few or something, but I'm pretty sure this is all of them. I Again, I could be mistaken. There could be more that I missed out on, but these are the ones that, you know, directly came to my mind. I found them on the shelf and put them in the video. So let's go ahead and go through them. I think we have like maybe 15 or so, so let's go ahead and get started. So I guess we can start off with this Dolph Ziggler, guys. You guys have seen this multiple times on the channel, and uh, pretty much what I did was took the Elite 19 Dolph Ziggler, replaced it with the Elite 48 head scan, and then I painted up the silver show-off on the tights right here. I painted that black and then added smaller knee pads, added the Elite 39 Ziggler boots, added some different arms on here with black wrist tape, and threw the cloth uh, hoodie on there, and it looks absolutely fire. I love this uh, Dolph Ziggler so very much. Next up, we have another Dolph Ziggler, and it is this MDT attire, actually. You can see my logo under there. We got my logo on the butt right here. Let's see if we can get a zoom in right here. You guys can see that right there. This was made by Venomine and BEW. BEW uh, painted it up, but Venomine had the idea for it. So huge shout out to you, bro. You are an absolute beast for this amazing MDT Dolph Ziggler custom fantasy attire. Even got the pink in the hair right there. Next up, we have my first ever fantasy attire, Finn Balor. I did it from It in 2017. You guys know that It, the movie, released. And I wanted to make a demon Finn Balor out of that sort of concept. And this is the final result. Um, this is what kick-started the MDT Fantasy Balor of the Month. I haven't done these in a while because I ran out of parts to make Finn Balor. So hopefully these will return very soon. But uh, giving you a little 360 right here. we got the armbands. You'll float two on there. That's a quote from the movie. And then I just sort of damaged this up. Made it look sort of like... Uh, a mix of blood and then his uh, color that he wore on his clothes from the movie. But I really love this Finn Balor a lot. Next up we have another Finn Balor and it is this white Phantom attire is what I call it. And you see here it's just standard white trunks. Got some white and black mixed in. His face sort of looks like a ghost or something with like black rushing through there. You got black and white kick pads, white knee pads. Got a little design on the trunks there. One of my favorite custom Finn Balors right there. Next, we do have this commission custom. It is a fantasy attire, and uh, the customer wanted me to do a black and pink AJ Styles. So right here, we have the Elite 51 AJ just painted up with some pink details all around. Really love the way this came out, and I hope to use this on an episode of MDT Live in the future so he'll match the ring and all that good jazz. Next up, we have a Randy Orton figure right here, guys, and it is this like uh, soft gray color with lime green and black designs. I really like this. I just figured that like the Viper and like Venom and you know what I'm saying, green and gray and black really go good together. So you have that attire for Randy Orton right there. Next up, we do have this Sami Zayn, and this was given to me by my boy Fig Skip Customs. This is a fantasy attire, uh, and what he did was he used the Hall of Champions Eddie Guerrero lower, and he put the uh, Sami Zayn torso, arms, and head scan on there to make a white fantasy attire Sami Zayn. And it's pretty freaking sweet. He knows I love the color white, so he sent this over to the channel. I love that so much. Thank you again, bro. Next, we have Seth freaking Rollins in this blue, gray, and black attire. I remember a lot of people really loved this one, me included. I took the TNF Seth Rollins and just painted over all the black pretty much with blue. Came out really, really clean. I love that blue, black, and gray all together. The contrast is so nice. Three of my favorite colors growing up. So seeing it all together is just really freaking sweet. I wish he would rock a blue attire in real life. So that's the Seth Rollins. Next up, we have another Seth. And it is the TNF Seth Rollins, but it is painted up with pink details. So going around here, you have pink going uh, across the legs here, knee pads, kick pads. And uh, with the gray and black and pink, it really sets off nicely. I painted up uh, the vest as well. I think that's really clean. I even painted over the stripes, make it look more uh, modern looking. So we have a fire Seth Rollins right there. Next up, we have another Finn Balor. And this is one that you guys really enjoyed. This is a Terminator custom Finn Balor. You can see the face paint right there. Got the metal scratching through right there. 
uh, silver on the black, got all kinds of like uh, robot parts shining through the cuts and bruises on Finn Balor. Really sick. I really enjoyed this attire a lot. Got the one silver going across right there, and the teeth are even painted silver there on the knee pad. So a lot. There's actually a tutorial on this one. If you'd like to see how this was painted up, there is a video on the channel. If you look that up. Next up, we have an all white. Roman Reigns, and you guys know how I am about the cust uh, the color white. I actually have like five or six all white fantasy attires in this video, but here we have Roman Reigns with the white, gold, and black. Very freaking sweet. I would love to use this on an episode of MDT, MDT Live or somebody is currently with a shield, and I don't think this would look too good, so maybe he'll rock this later on down the line. Next up, we have another Roman Reigns, and it is this United States Champion attire, and I got the USA flag behind the Roman Reigns logo. Got gold outlined there. Navy going in on the sides. Navy going in on the back as well. Really love this one. I think this is one of my favorite Romans, hands down. It just looks so freaking clean, especially with the U.S. title on there. If you want to go back on the channel, there is a video of him with the title, and it looks very nice. Next, we have Batista. We have the Animal. And uh, this is pretty much just black and gold. I took the uh, my old custom WrestleMania 21 Batista. I painted up the trunks in black. And then I came back with uh, gold and painted over the animal. And then I painted the uh, old Batista logo from like 05 on there. Really like the way that came out. And then of course we have the gold and black boots. I really love the way this Batista came out. Next we have like four straight white attires, guys. The first up we have Rey Mysterio. I uh, took the Elite 11, I think, maybe 12, I can't remember. Maybe even 13, guys, I can't remember. But uh, half these pants were black. I removed all of that with acetone, got full white on there. Replaced the shoes with white Rey Mysterio shoes. Swapped the arms and head to give me like a white and blue Rey Mysterio. Very freaking sweet. I love this Rey Mysterio to death. Next we have another white attire, the wheelchair coming with me. We'll just push that on back. But uh, we have Randy Orton right here in this white, black, and gray attire. BEW painted this up. He's got white wrist tape on there. I'd like to do a head swap and do a shoulder swap because I like the bigger arms, and I think it would look a lot better. But this is such a freaking clean figure. I love these tights so much. Randy Orton definitely needs to wear some white trunks one day. Hopefully he will. Next up, we have this Triple H, guys, and it is this fantasy white attire as well. Took the Elite 35 Triple H, painted up the trunks, painted up the knee pads from the Elite WrestleMania 32, I believe, or WrestleMania 33 Elite Triple H knee pads, and uh, then I switched the boots with Brian Pillman Elite 47.5, really clean, and then the head scan is done by Showstopper Custom Figs with the freaking beautiful bearded head scan. Coming into the last two guys, we have the best Neville Custom I think I've ever seen. I love this head scan so much. It is one of the first things I ever got done from BEW. It is so freaking clean. Got the custom shirt on there, white tights, and uh, I said forever ago when I first got this on a My Damn Halls episode that I was going to do this. This is like over a year ago. I said I was going to paint a design on the trunks. Still haven't done it, but uh, yeah, we got white kick pads, black and gray. Very freaking sweet. I did this before he came out at SummerSlam, I think it was, in that white and silver attire. And then the final figure that we have right here, guys, is this uh, Custom Elite Fantasy Finn Balor. It is uh, pretty much one of his NXT attires, but with lime green and white and black instead of red and white and black. So that's pretty much got like a scaling thing going here, more scaling type deal going in his chest. Demon teeth, design on the face, got the knee pad, got some designs on the trunks here, going down into the kick pad and the knee pad. Really love this demon, one of my favorite ones, and I think this is the most recent and last custom MDT fantasy uh, of the month, so uh, that's pretty interesting. I have not done one since this one. But that pretty much does it for my fantasy attire custom elite collection. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. Please let me know down in the comment section below which one was your favorite, you know, which you know, custom was your favorite. Uh, I have a ton of favorites. I literally could not choose because, uh, honestly, all of these came from my head, all of these attires. So, I mean, I really can't pick one. I love all of them individually, and uh, they are really near and dear to my heart. I just love it so much. I really love the BEW Venomine MDT Ziggler. That is so freaking fresh. Love that one to death. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Again, comment down below your favorite. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.